So today, I was looking through my videos deciding what to record today. Little did I know, I was thinking about Flight of Fear. I didn't know that I, I, I didn't already have a review on this, on this coaster. Because, I mean, it's at my home park. I've done reviews of almost every coaster at my home park. And it's at King's Dominion, too, but that's just a plus. I, so, I decided to do a review on this Flood of Fear roller coaster. While this, while this isn't one of my favorites, it's still really good. If you get the last ride of the night, at least at King's Island, if you get the last ride of the night, they turn the lights on, and that's a super cool opportunity. The only time you could get lights on is in a special event, if it's scheduled on the ERT. Um, but I like Flight of Fear. I think it's a good ride. I mean, it's a little shaky at times. And the trains are not my favorite. They feel like you're literally sitting on the track. And yeah, Flight of Fear is good. But without further ado, let's get into the POV. You start off the ride by launching straight forward at 54 miles an hour, which is a pretty good punch, especially when it's that fast. And then you head up into a cobra roll, which is basically an animal man, followed by a dive loop. And then you drop straight down and looped up into a sidewinder. And then this is where the ride starts getting weird. You twist around into this airtime hill looking thing, say hi to the cobra roll you were just in, and keep twisting around until you hit the mid-course and come to a literally complete stop. As the structure uncomfortably shakes and sways at least five inches, you twist down and hang sideways as you drop down, hit a little bottom, hit a small overbank, I don't really know. Keep twisting around at the same exact angle, and then you yeet back around and onto the other side, where you keep twisting around. Then you yeet back to the other side, and then you get really low to the ground, hop up a little here, and into my favorite part of the ride, the corkscrew. That corkscrew gives some pretty good width. And then you hit the final brakes. Woo! Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video, because that's going to wrap it up. If you haven't already, please slap that like button, subscribe if you're not already, it really helps out the channel. And if you never want to miss another upload, slap the bell so you never do. And if you haven't already, follow my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Threads for stupid roller coaster pictures. I post stupid roller coaster pictures on there. Who doesn't love stupid roller coaster pictures? And follow my TikTok for more exclusive videos. That's going to wrap it up. Hope you enjoy the video. Peace!